Welcome back. Today we're going to be focusing on how to customize your display on the Portable XRF for the Brooker software. So the Brooker software is the same for the CTX, the Tracer 5 series, and we haven't got one here, but also the S1 Titan. So let's get started. So the great thing about Brooker XRFs is that you can customize the display to best suit your needs. So to do that, you, on from the home page, you click display and then we click on to display settings on the bottom left and I'll take you to this page. So from this page in the top left hand corner we can see for this calibration the default is ppm for the units displayed. You can also click percentage or special. Um, you can also choose the display size if you'd like the text larger. The default is medium or if you would like it smaller. You can also choose if you'd like the elements to be listed by name or by element number. So that refers to their position on the periodic table. The enable LOD display will list elements below the limit of detection as LOD rather than numerical number. And finally, on this page, you can choose to increase or decrease decimals shown for the numbers reported and to set your um, standard limits. The element display order in the display settings uh, refers to the sorting of elements. So if you only want to see specific elements in your calibration, you go into here and say you really wanted to see silicon, maybe some iron and some calcium and you didn't really want to see mercury, you want to put that back. So you can use these toggles here to select and toggle across. If you don't want them, you can select and toggle back. If you want to change the order of the ones that you've chosen, select down or up and unselect it to then select a new element to go down or up. See if you select both, it doesn't quite work. You gotta unselect one to be able to move the other. And then you'd click OK, and when you do an analysis, these three are the only elements that will show up on your display. Further settings uh, in this display area would be when you click More. Again, this refers to what you see when you are conducting your analysis. So the year is the year that is attached to when you're taking the analysis. Uh, calibration name uh, is what calibration you are using and display user field refers to the sample name. So if I select that, it already is selected, the display user field refers to when you go into edit info name, that's what would come up. Whatever is in this display user field in the name. And of course, to change that, you would double click here and type in your sample. So then if we go back into display, um, yeah, you can have a play around. And once you have selected everything that you'd like, you can just click OK, OK, and you're ready for analysis. Once you've decided what display settings you'd like to change, to confirm them, click OK. OK, and they should come up for your next analysis. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to customize your display. We hope you have fun analyzing, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>